All right, here we go. So um, what I'm about to show you, I guess, or uh, talk about is probably something I don't even know if you, you would ever notice because it's kind of like in the background. It's uh, like bookkeeping type of stuff. It's about the replacement units and how I'm re recombining them and how di how it's different than um, what's in the Dervelkrieg rules. And like I've said before, I'm doing my own thing, kind of thing, uh, whatever, and... Um, it's it's not a you know a knock uh, to Dervel Krieg and whatnot. It just it, I'm trying to f you know f stay within the spirit of Dervel Krieg. Uh, but if I find things for myself too clunky or whatever, and I want to you know highlight certain things and uh, whatever, so that's what I'm doing. So basically, I'll, I'll kind of I'm not going to go into the super specificity or like r uh, read out the rules um, for Dervel Krieg. But essentially, uh, replacement units are ways of getting strength points, uh, you know, back into um, into into depleted divisions and brigades and whatnot. And there's you know uh, specific rules. For example, like uh, let's say, uh, which is just a bizarre coincidence. Well, it's a nice bizarre coincidence. Uh, is that let's say uh, battle group 16 here if i wanted to um and they're actually the 16th infantry division there's the only people there so uh and they are normally four strength points and right now uh the second army hq over here has three replacement units so according to duvel creek like i said i'm not going to get into the whatevers but i would have to bring this uh 16th infantry division back uh to the second army H headquarters I'm not like I said. I'm not going to try to rationalize. I'm just trying to give you a, a, what happens here, or uh, from what I know, uh, has to be brought back to here. Uh, then uh, you know, there's a very specific. You have to make sure that the replacement units, um, which are not uh, essentially combat units, they don't have as exerted zone of control and all that type of stuff. Even though they uh, they still obviously have uh, mass infrastructure, or whatever they um, they count as a. a a division uh, for rail purposes and, and all that stuff. Um, so you, they're brought here, can't be done in an enemy zone of control. Um, uh, like I said, you can't make sure you have to make sure you're not uh, going above, um, uh, the, the, you know, the maximum of what that type of uh, uh, unit could uh, have, uh, so on and so forth, and whatever. Uh, this is the way I'm doing it, and. Um, like I said, I'm just explaining to you how I'm doing things, and I feel fine. Uh, it just makes things, and it to me, in a weird way, it just... Uh, remember, I'm getting away from... Um, I, uh, in I'm writing it out in my own narrative stuff, uh, whatever. But when I get into this for this front or any... Uh, well, I guess essentially that, because I wouldn't be doing the recombination much for the other conflict zones, except for maybe um, the Arabian one. Um is that I'm not, oh God, I'm being sidetracked, hold on here. Uh, uh, the specifics, uh, I'm sticking to strength points for movement around in here. And then this, uh, the specifics and whatnot is gonna be in my narrative and everything else. So that I'm not so concerned about nationalities um, of, uh, of replacement points and so on and so this is that's going to be taken care of i'm not i'm not worried about that in the, in the slightest so what am i trying to do here like i said i've got three replacement points sitting here so what i'm going to do all i do with my uh on my record keeping which is quite easy to do is i just uh count off okay how many more turns do i have to wait for these guys to have come in acclimatized and so on and so forth then um as long as there's a um, and, and this guy isn't in a um, uncontested uh, threat zone kind of thing, um, and there's a nice little supply line, I can send these replacement points and bump up brigades and divisions as long as the amount of strength points that I send towards is not more than 50% of what they have. There, I don't want to like, to me that, because that would be almost like upsetting the experience apple cart, if that makes any sense. So, and I find, I'm totally fine with that. That's quite easy to uh, record keep, a hell of a lot easier for me than moving all this crazy nonsense back and forth for, uh, like I said, I'm sorry if I'm dissing, whatever. I just, it, it's, for me, it's, uh, it's almost to the point of like, 
okay, bef you know, before you can run uh, and put those shoes on, you have to take your shoes laces off and then put them back on again, uh, kind of thing. And then you can put your shoes on. Uh, I'd, I'd rather just this can be incorporated that way. So that's what's going to happen. So these guys right now are down to two strength points. They could be a four. Let's say they were only one strength point. I could not... Um, uh, the, according to my little rules, I could not send in two strength points worth of replacement units because that would upset the balance. That would be more than 50% of what was there. So I could send in one for uh, for the first turn that there was some ready, and then now it'd be up to two, so now I could send in two. You get the idea? Anyways, that's uh, I just wanted to kind of show you that's what I'm up to. Uh, it makes a lot more sense to me, so... Um, yeah, and I don't have to start moving headquarters infrastructure and all that stuff, which is not con which is not taken into consideration. Um, uh, just now, um, there's other like I said, you know, here I am trying to justify Jeepers jumping, and I don't want to dis um, you know the uh, the official rules. I mean that's the real that's the real McCoy. All right, that's it. I hope you're having a great time. See ya.